Have you heard that quantum computers may be able to solve problems not possible for conventional computers, such as breaking encryption codes and simulating complex chemical reactions? On the contrary, current artificial intelligence technology has been referred to as glorified tape recorders by physicist Michio Kaku. Hey, curious minds, here, today, we're going to explore the fascinating world of quantum computers and find out what remarkable abilities they have. We'll get to the fascinating viewpoint of a physicist named Michio Kaku on an intriguing world of artificial intelligence. Are you ready to explore the mysteries of quantum computers and how they could affect our lives? Before delving into the realm of quantum computers, let's embark on a brief historical odyssey. Quantum computing is not a recent notion. Its origins trace back to the ingenious concepts formulated by luminaries such as Richard Feynman and David Deutsch during the 1980s. These trailblazing theories establish the bedrock upon which we presently build the edifice of quantum computing. Looking ahead to the present day, we stand at the brink of a technological revolution. Quantum computers, often veiled in enigma, carry immense potential. Operating according to the tenets of quantum mechanics, these machines harness the distinctive actions of particles at the quantum scale. Envision this. While a classical computer handles information in binary form, zeros and ones, quantum computers venture into an entirely novel realm. They harness quantum bits, or qubits, which have the ability to inhabit multiple states concurrently. This attribute, termed superposition, bestows upon quantum computers an unparalleled advantage in tackling intricate problems with remarkable efficacy. Wondering about the capabilities of these quantum giants? Brace yourself! Quantum computers could transform cryptography, drug research, optimization, and beyond. What takes classical computers decades or even centuries could be done in seconds by quantum counterparts. Think of swiftly cracking intricate codes, rapidly developing life-saving medicines, and optimizing supply chains like never before. In 2019, Google celebrated quantum supremacy with its 53-qubit Sycamore system solving complex problems faster than classical supercomputers. Despite rivals' skepticism, the potential of quantum computing remains compelling for researchers and vendors, driving progress amid challenges. Google reaffirms quantum supremacy with new research on the 70-qubit Sycamore iteration, 241 million times more potent. It outpaces the world's mightiest supercomputer, Frontier, which would need 47 years to complete calculations that the new Sycamore handles efficiently. Outlined in an April AR-14 paper, the research aimed to achieve the potential of quantum computers beyond classical ones. Google researchers highlighted quantum computers' capability to handle tasks surpassing classical limits. They conducted experiments demonstrating computational superiority over existing classical supercomputers. Quantum computing is still progressing. Achieving operational, error-corrected quantum systems with over a million qubits could require more than a decade. Challenges include cost reduction, software development, and skilled workforce acquisition. Initial use cases are uncertain, stand-alone, cloud-based, or as part of classical quantum hybrids. The industry must also align on qubit creation methods. Significant efforts are underway in quantum computing, involving tech giants like Google, IBM, Microsoft, Intel etc. along with smaller firms. Other sectors, such as finance, are also exploring this field. Incremental results, like Google's achievements, indicate progress and the overall direction. Joint IBM and UC Berkeley research showcased the potential of still experimental quantum systems, outperforming traditional counterparts in tasks like complex physical simulations. They operated on IBM's 127-qubit Quantum Eagle processor, demonstrating quantum computing's utility in a pre-fault-tolerant era. The Google research aimed to address key questions about quantum computing's potential in the context of computational complexity and noise. They conducted random circuit sampling RCS, experiments on the 70-qubit second-generation Sycamore system. These experiments unveiled distinct phases driven by the interplay between noise and quantum dynamics. The researchers used finite size studies with cross-entropy benchmarking XEB, to determine phase boundaries. This quantum system's capabilities are substantial, significantly outperforming the certified exascale system Frontier. This monumental system, powered by Hewlett-Packard Enterprise's Cray EX235A architecture, custom CPUs, and GPU accelerators, boasts immense computational power. It highlights the ongoing progress and potential of quantum computing. 
Google's findings reveal that the 53-qubit Sycamore system completes a calculation instantaneously, a task requiring 6.18 seconds for the Frontier supercomputer. With the 70-qubit next-gen Sycamore, the time extends to 47.2 years. Despite noise, quantum systems significantly accelerate certain calculations, offering insights into quantum dynamics interaction with noise. The researchers identify seven regimes where noisy quantum devices effectively harness computational power. However, quantum computing faces ongoing challenges. Finding practical applications for near-term noisy quantum processors remains a pressing issue, despite the success of random circuit sampling RCS, experiments. This aligns with the patient approach emphasized by Rick Stevens of Argonne National Laboratory, reflecting the lengthy timeline of advancements in high-performance computing HPC. The road to Zetascale and quantum systems is lengthy, as demonstrated by the timeline for the Frontier and upcoming Aurora systems. HPC is a long-term endeavor that requires thinking beyond short-term horizons. Recent progress in artificial intelligence has sparked both enthusiasm and concern. Some industry figures worry that AI might surpass human capabilities without proper control. However, physicist Michi Okaku, a professor at the City College of New York, suggests this anxiety is exaggerated. He stated in an interview with CNN's Fareed Zakaria, August 14, that while AI applications like chatbots can enhance productivity and society, undue fear has led to an emphasis on negative aspects. Kaku dismissed tools like OpenAI's ChatGPT as advanced tape recorders. ChatGPT, powered by large language models (LLMs), utilizes vast human-generated text to produce human-like text. He remarked. It assembles fragments from the internet, created by humans, and presents them as its own creation. People are marveling at its human-like nature, but it's just an illusion. Kaku provides a counter-narrative to the alarmist perspective that AI presents an existential threat. Jan LeCun, chief AI scientist at Meta and NYU professor, dismissed such fears as preposterously ridiculous. David Ferrucci, creator of IBM Watson, concurs that AI won't dominate. Current AI technology lacks human-level skills, like discerning truth from falsehood. Kaku noted that chatbots, for instance, can't distinguish truths without human input. Lacoon highlighted large language models LLM's, limitations in their complete lack of common sense. He analogized AI's current stage as dog-like AI rather than the hyped god-like AI. As per Kaku, Present-day AI is in the second stage of computer evolution, characterized by binary computing. He compared it to the initial human computations using rudimentary tools. Kaku emphasized that nature's computation isn't binary but based on electron waves and molecules, leading to the upcoming stage 3. In this third stage, quantum computing takes center stage, driven by Kaku's expertise in quantum physics. Quantum computing employs particle states like electrons to significantly enhance processing power. Leading tech companies such as Google, Microsoft, and IBM are actively pursuing quantum computing projects. While existing AI technology is constrained in its capacity to comprehend context and make decisions based on ambiguous or partial information, quantum computers offer the potential to tackle problems that classical computers cannot. The advantages of quantum computing and AI are substantial, despite the fact that there is still much to be done in both domains. It is crucial to think about the ethical ramifications and make sure that these technologies are applied in ways that benefit society as a whole as we continue to develop them. What do you think about AI and quantum computing's potential? What effects do you anticipate these technologies will have on the future? Let us know in the comment below. Watch our other video on AI's quantum leap the next generation of computing, and we will see you soon.